I think this is the one we walked out of the, out of the uh, cactus to induce. I think we sedated him up and then walked him down out of the cactus. The backdrop for this is, uh, this is a uh, 18th century church, um, all made out of hand laid stone in the area that we're working that rock wall there and all around us is an old monastery that's in ruins. So it's a pretty picturesque backdrop. Those cards that are hanging off of uh, Victor's shirt, those are the uh, Cindy's uh, anesthesia recipe cards that they all get. They also have home. body condition scoring on And body condition score, and I think teeth, aging by teeth. Yeah. And aesthetically, he's a little light. He's breathing a little heavy there. Yeah, again, that's uh, a, a body position in a recovering donkey that we see quite a lot. It doesn't seem to make any difference. They get up just fine, but you just don't see horses do that. You can roll these guys sternal if you want. And this guy's not quite ready to be sternal. These guys were so sweet, even with the burrows. I, you know, they were just really sweet. That's Miguel and Victor, who's the guy with the black hat. They're really good guys. <laughs> we decided we would go over and help him sit up because that's all of it. He really just wants to be sternal at this point, that guy. Oh, I guess we didn't help him. He just finally got himself there, and now he's happy because he's no longer lying on his side. He'll go ahead and lay there for a bit till he's ready to stand up. He can see now, and he's sternal. And I think this guy wound up standing up before the other guy, even though he had his surgery afterwards. So this guy eventually stood up okay, but he uh, required assistance because otherwise I'm afraid he would have started flopping around on the ground a little bit. So Miguel just kind of Stayed with him until he was ready to stand up. Probably had some nice stagnus. And so we don't let him try to get up until their eyes have stopped moving. Welcome, Hana. Oh. Yeah. It's like, but this was the face who had a fair bit. This was a uh, uh, guy with a sarcoid oh, on, on his face. face and it was yeah. a longer. It took a bit to cut everything out, and the owners really concerned about him. Yeah, sarcoids are really common in uh, donkeys and mules, and we see a lot of them down there. And they seem to be—they're—they're—they're they're, they're bigger and more diffuse than they are in horses too. Um, these guys are chronically dehydrated too, which I—which does I think affect. Well, uh, how they process their ketamine, because they can't excrete it through their kidneys. There's no fluid to excrete it with. So he got himself sternal finally there, but oh, and there we are getting up. But he got up nice with tail assistance. This procedure took um, about twice as long as regular castration because we had to remove the tumor and. Uh, it was one of the last surgeries and, of the And day. suture it, and uh, we injected it with cisplatin as well.
And I don't actually know how he gets on that burrow because you see him in town on crutches and he's pretty handicapped. His dog is lame on his uh, right hind. His dog packs his right hind <laughs> and he carries his crutches with him.